Hey, how's it going? I was, this is going to be the low light level version. I was debating on whether or not to use one of my themes. And I thought, you know what? I'm just going to go ahead with this. It's late at night. I'm shooting this video after I just got home. And I got 30 minutes to get it done before midnight. So I have my daily video done. I'm glad I remembered. So... What I'm thinking about now is customer service because in my other thing that I do when I'm driving, I, I interact with shippers and receivers all the time. And there, there are a bunch of people involved. There's the brokers and for one particular load, there was another company and then there's our company and the shippers and the, and the receivers, the constantees, they only see me. A lot of times they'll talk to people on the phone and everything, but I'm the guy that goes there. And on my last, my last load, it was every, every time I went somewhere, something happened. I went to go pick it up and I didn't have the correct number and I had to get that. And once we got that figured out, I was on my way. And then I had to call the broker because the broker wanted to dispatch me in their system for the load. So I did that, and I got back here, and I was living to this huge Walmart distribution center. And I get there, and they're telling me when I drop the trailer and pick up my empty over here, and I'm thinking, well, am I supposed to pick up an empty? I thought I was done. And they said I probably wouldn't have to. Well, when I went to the receiving department, they said, yeah, you bring one in, you got to take one out. That's the agreement that they have. And here's, here's where I have to just do what I got to do, what I think is the thing. And I just told the receiving office, that's fine. Just tell me whatever trailer you got, you want me to take. And she did the paperwork on it and gave me the number and I picked it up. And then instead of going back to my yard, I went to the other company's yard. I took their trailer back and... Then I dropped it and then headed headed back to the shop. So in this instance, it's so common for drivers to get upset and say, it's not my trailer and this and that. And, and it doesn't really matter. What matters is here's the agreement that they have. And this is what normally happens. And you're the only one there. And you've got to handle it because there's no one... You could ask someone, but it's it's late at night. And getting, a t getting in touch with someone might be hard. And in this case, I know what to do. I can't, first of all, the, the Walmart Distribution Center, they've got this policy with this other company. I, I can't go and say, I'm not gonna do this or raise a bunch of problem, because if I do, it can get that company in trouble with Walmart, which is really no good for us because we're not going to have a very good relationship with them if that happens. And, you know, my name's still on the truck, so it could cause problems for our company too. So there's nothing to be, and not to mention hard feelings and, and getting into it with the people there that are just doing their job. So when you're in business, it's very simple. They used to just say, oh, it's easy to beat other companies on customer service. All you have to do is go above and beyond. No, <laughs> you really don't. In your business, if you want to be a star of customer service for your customers and clients, you know, the people that pay your bills, that give you money, all you got to do is be civil and treat people as if, as you would like to be treated when you have a challenge with somebody or a, a company and it's not hard to do and it is so easy to make huge points with your people that 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 love your stuff and they want to buy from you all you have to do is treat them well if something goes wrong, bite the bullet, take it. Who cares? So you lose a few bucks. It's much better to give up a few dollars than to lose a client. And not only that, 
in the long run, you'll find that most of the time, even if it costs you a couple of dollars on a, on a given situation, that same person will be much more likely to do business with you and tell other people how great you are, which is the best kind of advertising you can get. So that's what I got for today. Go above and beyond. Treat your clients the way you would like to be treated. And you will. You will make much more money and you'll go very far. That's all I got for now. I'll see you tomorrow. Which actually happens in about 20 minutes. <laughs> Alright, that's it. I'm out.